The Supreme Court is set to decide who can trigger Article 50 and start the UK's exit from the EU, and there seems to be quite a bit of confusion. So, let's try to break it down. Article 50 in 50 seconds. Here we go. The Supreme Court is being asked a question. Who can lawfully trigger Article 50? There are two possible outcomes. The government, the Prime Minister and her ministers, think that they should trigger Article 50 because it is a foreign treaty, and foreign treaties are something the government can decide on its own. Others say Article 50 is not just about a treaty, it impacts on domestic rights and laws. So it should be down to our elected parliament. Ultimately, this is a question about British laws and what they say. Clearly a job for our courts and independent judiciary. But hold on, you say, didn't we already decide this? There was that vote in June? The June referendum decided one thing. People voted to leave the EU. But that's not the question here. The question for the court, and it is a vital one, is how do we go about doing that? Who can lawfully trigger Article 50 for us? Once the court has decided that, we'll have a clear process. Either it's government or parliament. And people say that constitutional law is difficult.